Hello everybody and welcome back to My Journey, the series in which I take you along my path to gathering every Trackmania Track of the Day author medal. Starting us out in volume number 7 today and for author medal 350, we have the track Gold Rush which was made by Mikey and it was the track of the day on September 26th of 2020. Gold Rush was a full speed track in which over 1600 players have achieved the author medal. I got this one rather quickly, taking just 7 minutes, finishing with a 41.171. I thought Gold Rush was a decent track and a pretty self explanatory one as well, that is with one exception, uh, there is a jump coming up in which you want to do a small release upon jumping in order to hit a boost pad on the other side, without that I was always coming up just a tiny bit short of the author medal and once I got that jump and boost pad I got the author medal first try, uh, so if you are planning on playing this track as well make sure you do that small release. For author medal 351 we have the track castle in the sky which was made by averios 96 and it was the track of the day on november 14th of 2020 castle in the sky was a mixed track that over 2100 players have achieved the author medal on got this one rather quickly as well taking eight minutes finishing with a 135.787 I don't really have a ton of kind words for this track. Uh, first of all, we start with the length of it, a minute and 30 seconds is basically double your average track time. For me, personally, I really like tracks around the 40 to 45 second length and anything pushing a minute is starting to get too long, so a minute and 30 seconds is just a ridiculous amount of time for a track. Also, the track quality on this one, the route, is just really not all that great. And if you combined a not so great route with a super long route as well, uh, really it just becomes a slog to drive and it, it really wasn't the most enjoyable experience. For Author Metal 352, we have the track Escape, which was made by Bayern, and it was the track of the day on June 15th of 2023. Escape was a grass and tech track that over 1,000 players have achieved the Author Metal. Uh, this one took me double the time of the previous ones, taking 15 minutes, finishing with a 45.421. If I remember correctly, I enjoyed this track a lot back when it first released, but as of now, I did not enjoy it as much. Uh, it's still a decent track, so don't get me wrong, uh, but now that I'm a bit better at the game, I found I was just driving maybe a bit too fast for the track, uh, especially between checkpoints 3 and 4. There's an extremely tight grass turn, uh, which it feels like you either need to do some braking or releasing prior to that turn or even in that turn in order to make that part feel somewhat decent. For Author Metal 353, we have the track Journey Initial Climb, which was made by Squeaky Tomato, and it was a very early track, releasing on July 27th of 2020. Journey Initial Climb is a speed fun track that over 2600 players have achieved the Author Medal on. I got this one in 13 minutes, finishing with a 113.481. Unfortunately, this track has quite a few different problems. Uh, the route is one of them, though the route isn't terrible, it's not the greatest, but it does contain a cut, so that is what is wrong with it. Uh, but the biggest offenders on this track is that it has basically no sound other than checkpoint noises. Not really sure how this was possible, but that is the case. I did fix it for the video, uh, but just be known when you are driving this, there is no sound. And in the second half of this track, when you are driving upwards, there is no camera change, and it is undrivable in camera one. So when you get to that part, you are going to have to switch to camera two or camera three to have it be drivable. Now some of this stuff can be excused since it was such an early track and you know they were still trying to figure things out uh, but I still gave this one a fair rating that I would give any other track.
For Author Metal 351, we have the track Plastic Arena, which was made by Minty, and it was the track of the day on August 8th of 2021. Plastic Arena is a plastic and tech track in which over 2400 players have achieved the Author Medal. This one took me 21 minutes to get, finishing with a 48.611. It's unfortunate I couldn't really enjoy this one as much as I wanted to because I love this style of track, uh, but it has some gearing issues throughout. It also has a spot where you can pretty much over jump the track as well as a complete reroute on this one, uh, which explains why so many players had the author medal on it. Uh, so yeah, a lot of issues. I really enjoy this style again. I uh, wish more stuff like this was being made and chosen for track of the days. And if this one was a little bit cleaner, it would have been one of my favorite tracks made. For Author Metal 355, we have the track Sapristi, which was made by Kezkia, and it was the track of the day on July 26th of 2021. Sapristi is a plastic track that over 1,400 players have achieved the Author Metal on. Uh, this one took me just 8 minutes to get, finishing with a 43.184. This was another track that I wish I could have enjoyed more than I did, because I do really like the plastic surface. But on this one, you know, it wasn't really the cleanest track. I was gearing up and gearing down on so many of the different turns. I'm sure some of them are a bit more manageable if I drove a little bit cleaner lines. But I think no matter what, this one is still going to have those problems with the gearing. And I do wish it was a little bit cleaner because this was not the most fun track to drive because of it. For Author Metal 356, we have the track Grassle Koofs, which was made by Past Deck on Fire, and it was the track of the day on March 23rd of 2024. Grassle Koofs is a grass track in which over 700 players have achieved the Author Medal. This one took me 31 minutes to get, finishing with a 44.85. I thought this was a good track overall, but really didn't care for the final few sections as they didn't really fit the flow the rest of the track had. I found the angles there to be very awkward. They were also extremely narrow lines as well to take there, including the very final turn into the finish in which there is a bump out on both the left and right side of the grass and hitting either of those is going to send you flying out. For Author Metal 357, we have the track Fingal's Cave reopened, which was made by GoMet, and it was the track of the day on May 12th of 2023. Fingal's Cave was a mixed track in which over 2,000 players have achieved the Author Medal. This one took me 13 minutes to get, finishing with a 41.107. I thought this was an okay track, but I found myself clipping my wheels on so many different parts of this track, and it's definitely more prominent in the early section, so a lot of early restarts on this one. Also, I probably could have gotten this one a bit quicker if I knew what is probably supposed to be the risky finish is not as fast as taking the safe finish. For Author Metal 358, we have the track Egg Flip, which was made by Nacho Cutie, and it was the track of the day on May 1st of 2022. Egg Flip is a LOL track that over 1,000 players have achieved the Author Medal. This one took me 12 minutes to get, finishing with a 7.313. I think this is the first true LOL track that we've had in this series, and it really wasn't the greatest. You can pretty consistently get the jump into the circle, but actually getting a consistent landing and a consistent turnaround to get the jump off the ramp is rather difficult and pretty luck-based because you just can't see anything, uh, so you're kind of just guessing every single time. So while you can get into the circle, it's just going to be a matter of time until you get this one, and honestly, just not the most fun. For Author Metal 359 and the final Author Metal in today's video, we have the track NASCAR Joyride, which was made by Priez, and it was the track of the day on January 18th of 2022. As the name of this one suggests, this is a NASCAR track, and over 2,200 players have the Author Metal on it. This one took me just 5 minutes to get, finishing with a 59.063. 
this is your fairly typical NASCAR track. Uh, if you like this style, you know, you'll probably like this track. If you don't and you're like me and find NASCAR to be a fairly boring style, well, you're probably not going to enjoy this one all that much. It's an alright track for what it is. If you don't like NASCAR, at least the author medal on this one is not too difficult. And that will conclude volume number 7 here today. If you are interested in driving any of the tracks you saw, there will be links in the description to all of them. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, be sure to like it and subscribe so you don't miss out on any in the future. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all here next Sunday with volume number 8.